What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com. Here's your free pick in the New York Yankees versus Tampa Bay Rays. Major League Baseball matchup going down Friday, April 19th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my nerfies and yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I don't necessarily release at Pick Dogs based on timing constraints, things that happen throughout the day, whether it's line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup scratches, and so on. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, and that's the kind of bank for you're rolling with, Text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one. Between the New York Yankees and the Tampa Bay Rays. The New York Yankees sending out Clark Schmidt to the mound in this one. The Tampa Bay Rays, no starter confirmed. Now, the last time we saw Ryan Pepio get the start as we did on, um, on, uh, on Thursday, it was followed up by Sean Armstrong in what was a bullpen game for the Tampa Bay Rays. So um, we'll have to see if that ends up being the case here. Um, Pepio obviously getting the win for the uh, the Rays in the two to one decision on uh, on Thursday to close out their series, earning a split against the Los Angeles Angels. And we'll have to see if it does end up being a bullpen game because if it is, it could be a little bit uh, ominous for the Tampa Bay Rays, just given the state of this Tampa Bay Rays bullpen. I mean, realistically, it hasn't been it hasn't been all sunshine and rainbows for the uh, the Rays this season. This is a point that I just continue to make early on in the season, and while I won't make it as much over the course of the regular season as uh, I'm sure. The Rays bullpen will play out to the back of its baseball card. You look at Tampa Bay. This was a team that at one point, you know, their crown jewel, their their star, their star of the show was that bullpen and that pitching staff. You know, Kevin Cash was one of the first you know managers to really implement the opener strategy consistently. And now the Tampa Bay Rays have a you know a five point nine zero bullpen ERA over the last week. They have the worst bullpen ERA in baseball um, over the course of the entire season so far. So there's a lot of work that the Tampa Bay Rays have to do to get themselves back in the good graces. But, I mean, there's still some talent on this team, and I still think they can at least, uh, you know, pose a threat on some, you know, some days. You know, is it going to be the same uh, same Tampa Bay Rays team that we've seen in years past, going, especially going back to last year? No, I mean, last year's Tampa Bay Rays team came out of the gates flying and, um, you know, eventually sort of gassed themselves out and, you know, fell apart down the stretch. This year, like I said, it's been a little bit of a consistency issue, sort of a win-one-lose-one run. Um but now they go into New York in, in what I feel at least is a somewhat winnable series. Um, you know, especially in the opener. Clark Schmidt, you know, one and zero on the year, a three point six zero ERA. He's made it into the sixth inning uh, once out of his three starts. The other two, he went five full innings max, including last time out where he went five full innings. Uh, gave up two runs, one earned on three hits with seven strikeouts against the Cleveland Guardians, but five walks, and he's issued eight walks in his last two starts, which really isn't something that you want to see if you're a starter. I mean, obviously. It's, uh, it's tough to begin with, but, you know, the Yankees can't afford to have their their starting pitching shoot themselves in the foot any more than they, they already have in a lot of spots. I mean, Clark Schmidt, you know, just not a pitcher that I'm really trying to go out of my way to back at the best of times. And then when you look at his numbers in his career against the Tampa Bay Rays, four career starts, he's 0-3 with a 4.82 ERA over 18 and two-thirds innings of work in his last start at Tropicana Field in August of last year, six and two-thirds innings. Three runs allowed, one earned on six hits, but still the Yankees took the loss in that game. And uh, they are one and three in his four career starts for Clark Schmidt. So for me, it's just this boils down to the fact that I just don't feel that Clark Schmidt is a minus 156 pitcher in my eyes, especially with a capable team on the other side like the Tampa Bay Rays, who still have a lot of quality bats in the lineup. The, the New York Yankees, a lot of times can be very hit or miss. They can be sort of very all or nothing um, with all the bats they have in that lineup, like Aaron Judge, Giancarlo Stanton, now Juan Soto, and... I think the Tampa Bay Rays could uh, could could draw first blood here and squeeze us out some value to start. So I'm going to take the Tampa Bay Rays here at plus 132, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're at Pick Dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here, Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.